Germany calls for immediate release of Putin opponent Navalny. This post received a score of 52,000, with an up-vote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Full text. Germany called for the immediate release of Alexei Navalny after the jailed Russian opposition leader was sentenced to nine years in a high-security prison on Tuesday. Navalny S. Poisoning in 2020 sparked a deterioration of relations between Germany and Russia after former Chancellor Angela Merkel sided with the anti-corruption investigator, whose exposés have targeted Putin. S. Inner Circle. Navalny accused Putin of ordering the attack on him with the weapons-grade nerve agent Novichok. The Kremlin said at the time that it found no proof Navalny was poisoned. One point that is missing here is the step that Navalny took to unequivocally prove it was Russia who poisoned him. We expect the Kremlin to deny its guilt and so did Navalny, which is why, under the guise of a Kremlin official, he prank called the FSB agent that poisoned him and got him to not only admit that he did it, but he confessed that the order came from dot the Kremlin. Dropping the link to the story because it's just so crazy. I can t believe he was able to prank call his poisoners. But it's all recorded. They got receipts. Just heard podcast episode, Wall Street Journal, about Bellingcat. These people are doing incredible work and demonstrates the power of the internet. OSINT has been leading the way in this conflict. Yeah, I ended up learning about them through Robert Evans' Behind the Bastards podcast since he works with Bellingcat. I am always impressed with what they investigate and find. BTB is so damn good. Where can I find out about Bellingcat? I presume they're an independent collective of journalists? Bellingcat was instrumental in proving, with open sources, no less that Russia was involved in that fiasco, despite their denials. Wikipedia has a section, if you want other, big hits. They've done amazing work over the years, and in many topics. The Christchurch shooting was another of their, big hits, but they've made broader analyses, too. Navalny should have stayed in exile a while longer, now Putin will never let him out. Being in exile meant he could be assassinated by Russia while allowing Russia the plausible deniability that it wasn t carried out by them. If he is in Russian custody, they can t assassinate him without making Russia look bad. Either they admit to the world that they did it, or they lie and say that their infamous prison systems are not adequately secure to keep out foreign actors. Greater than without making Russia look bad I feel like Russia may not care about this anymore, and this was probably a miscalculation by Navalny. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.